Hallelujah. Praise Space Jesus. <laughs> Today's loaf of bread comes to us from Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor who I've already quoted in these videos a number of times. And the topic of today's passage is gratitude. In his meditations, Marcus Aurelius writes, When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. The reason I really like this particular passage from Marcus Aurelius is that he takes it down to the fundamentals. He's not coaching himself to be grateful for the empire that he rules, or all the wealth at his disposal, or all of the people who admire him or who want his favors. He's going right down to the basics. Let's go over it again real quick. Think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive. Forget money, forget your house, forget your friends, forget all of the bullshit. Think about the precious privilege you have to be alive, here and now. The things we overlook the most are the things we should be most grateful for. That's what it comes down to. All of the things that Marcus lists in this passage are things that we take for granted. Who thinks in the morning, wow, I'm so lucky to be alive. I'm so lucky to breathe. <sighs> Woo! Nobody thinks that. But imagine if you woke up one day and couldn't breathe. Imagine if you had some kind of crippling lung disease and it was a struggle just to take one breath. Suddenly, you would be very, very grateful for the ability to breathe. And when your health returned for a few days, you would probably be extremely happy. And you would be very mindful of the fact that you can breathe easily. But because most of us can breathe easily every day, we don't think about it. We're not grateful. We just take it for granted. But maybe the biggest miracle here, the biggest blessing that each and every single human being on this planet has right now and that each of us is probably overlooking, is the simple fact that we are alive. You're here. And that is not only a blessing, it's a miracle. It's an absolute miracle. If you look at the odds in favor of your being here, you'll realize very quickly how much of a blessing it is to be alive. Not to get too explicit with you, but from what I understand, Every single male ejaculation has around 2 million sperms in it. So right off the bat, the particular time where your mother and father conceived you, there was a 1 in 2 million chance that you would be the one to make it to the gates. Just think about that every morning. 1 in 2 million, those are the odds. You're here, so be grateful. But it goes further than that. Because in order for you to be conceived, you needed your mom and your dad. And they had to beat the same odds to get here. When they were conceived, they had the same odds of being the ones who were chosen, being the ones who crossed over and became individuals. So not only were the odds against you, two million to one, each of your parents were also underdogs at their time, and they were born. So if you keep working your way backwards like this and compounding those odds, you're going to see that your existence is not only a blessing, it's a miracle. So every morning I read this or I recite it to myself because it reminds me of the blessings that I would overlook otherwise. To acknowledge your blessings, to see what's good in your life instead of just thinking about what you want, what you don't have, what you wish were different. That's a powerful practice. And if you start off every single day like this, I guarantee you, your mood is going to be better. You're going to be a happier person. You're going to be more in tune with other people around you because they had to beat the same odds. They're just like you. There's no guarantee that they were going to be here. They had to swim. <laughs> they had to swim up river. So that's my offering of bread for you today. I hope that it will serve you well. I hope that you will find it tasty. 
Hit me up in the comments, like always. Live well, my friends.